Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane and this is All Coin Disrupt. So guys, we've made a video on internet computer before, but today will be a price analysis. My, my former video was mostly based on what is internet computer. I just wanted to take an in-depth look at internet computer itself. But today will be a price analysis focused video. Now that video interestingly actually did quite well. But as you can see, at the time of making that video, the price of internet computer was actually 146 uh, US dollar. You'd be happy to know that the price currently sits at 79 US dollar. So actually this is a great time to buy internet computer. Now here's a quick dis disclaimer. Um, this video is not financial advice. We don't give financial advice. Um, this video is simply for educational and, uh, and entertainment purposes. Now, another thing is that we do have a second channel, and this is a channel based on stocks and shares. And we're looking at stocks and shares such as Arrival, Canoe, uh, electric car companies such as Teslas. So we'll be making more videos um, for Monument quite soon. So I hope you guys can check out this channel, subscribe if you like everything. But let's get into internet computers. So like I said, the price was much higher when I made my video, and that was just a couple of weeks ago. This was literally a couple of weeks ago, and the price was a lot higher. So clearly, as you can see, if you watch this video and you're watching this and you're watching my current video, well, consider yourself that I may have saved you a lot of money because it's always in the best of interest to take a look at the direction that the market is going. And obviously, internet computer is the, is the 15th um, cryptocurrency in the world. But a lot of cryptocurrencies are in the red. As you can see, it's a, it's a it's, it's a lot of dump that's going on, except for Theta Fuel. Theta Fuel is doing absolutely incredible, and I don't think that they that they intend on slowing down anytime soon. So, what can you expect from internet computer, right? I mean, I mean, the price was the price was once at over 300, 300 US dollars, right? It's absolutely incredible. I mean, when cryptocurrencies like this launch, sometimes the price is really high, and it gives you unrealistic expect uh, expectations. It gives a lot of people unrealistic ex expectation, but the key thing is actually it actually went up to five hundred and eighty dollars at one stage, and I think that's just because a lot of people wanted to invest while while they consider that maybe maybe this is a good time. The price is the price is low. Just just invest just in just in case. See what happens. But I was obviously as we know now the price has has gone down a lot. And the last week itself, you can see around June the third. It's actually not too long ago. It's just in a, just in this week. Uh, internet computer was around 134 US dollars. So considering that the prices fell so much, I'm actually looking forward to this dump. I'm actually looking forward to, to seeing just how, how much more money can be dumped out of this cryptocurrency because there was a huge hype around uh, around this cryptocurrency. So I think for the next few months, a lot of cryptocurrencies are, are going to be going through a dip, a huge dump. And I can even see internet computer going down to 50 US dollars, maybe 60 US dollars, somewhere around there. So losing at least 20 US dollars, um, I think I think that's quite reasonable considering how much it's also it already lost, right? So how much do I think it, do I think it will get back to 100 dollars, maybe 200 dollars, uh, maybe 500 dollars at some insane stage? I think it's possible that it does get back to 200 dollars, but that does depend on a few circumstances. One. The dumping of of cryptocurrency will it stop? Will it halt? Will it will it will it turn around? Will cryptocurrency start going back up in price instead of going down? If cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know the major the major cryptocurrency lead the way and the price keeps on going up for those cr cryptocurrency later this year, if the momentum turns around, if people change their mind, if people stop selling and start buying once again, then yes, I think internet computer could get back to around two hundred dollars, maybe two hundred and fifty dollars. But you got to consider all the factors. I mean, even even if you look at the at the trading stat for the last for the last for the last twenty four hours, actually, you're looking at seventy 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 eight dollars, right? But it actually went back to up to eighty four dollars, and as you can see, it actually went back up to eighty two dollars. So you're looking at you're looking at some good trading. You know, some people are are, are trading on this cryptocurrency simply to just make profit. But long term, next few months, like I said, I think this cryptocurrency will definitely dump to around 60, maybe 50 US dollars. And eventually, towards the end of the year, people will start reinvesting and it might go back to around 200, 250. It's possible, but that's if other cryptocurrencies also keep on doing well. Because if other cryptocurrencies are not doing well like Bitcoin, it's very rare that these cryptocurrencies do, do, do that well. If they do 
well, it's usually because of some huge positive news or some upward momentum or the company has done something that, to change the swing of investors' mind. Something big usually happened for investors to think, okay, we're going to put all of our money in this because, because this is going to make more money, right? And there's usually a lot of inside information that's going on, so a lot of people can predict the market. So here's something I found interesting. The Affinity Founder takes aim as Ethereum Complex Layer 2 Solution. Right, a lot of these proof of stake network today that people invest in are really just layer two applications of cloud. We find that pretty disappointing. Blockchain shouldn't be running on Amazon Web Services where they can steal the validator's key and all sorts of bad stuff. They're right. This is this is actually true because I don't want to. I don't want to invest in a. What if Bitcoin was run was run on on Amazon Web Services? You know, what if what if Amazon had something to do with Bitcoin? I would be scared to say the least because you can't trust amazon you can't really trust any of these big corporations any even small corporations doesn't matter just can't trust them cryptocurrency is supposed to be decentralized in in as much ways as possible and i think that's why people love bitcoin so much because it's just extremely decentralized you know just really decentralized the most a company can do to bitcoin is that they can mine a lot of bitcoin or they can um they can actually own a lot of Bitcoin. So they own a, a huge portion of the of the market. That's the most they can do to Bitcoin. But apart from that, it's it's extremely decentralized. And I do like that. So the Affinity respond to um, internet computer decentralized and privacy concern. So what's the deal? You know, with uh, with great cut with great powers comes great responsibility. Great Spider-Man quote, by the way. So the community needs to set up the responsibility. I personally believe that the community will step up the role but it's early and we have many challenges ahead of us. So this is just a definity addressing their privacy concern. The end goal is that internet computer is fully decentralized and not controlled by definity or anyone else. So that's uh, that's around their privacy concern. Obviously people do have privacy concern and um, it would make sense why the price is, is gone down to like $80. I don't think like a week ago or a couple of weeks ago when I made my video, actually probably even before that, like like three weeks ago or a month ago when internet computer was was doing extremely well you're talking like over 300 dollars. i don't think a lot of people would have said okay like less than a month from now this cryptocurrency will be worth 80 dollars. i don't think a lot of people necessarily say that because the price was just so huge and when these new cryptocurrencies come in and, and the prices are high people are always expecting something like okay maybe this cryptocurrency will be different from others maybe this will be the one to, bear, to break the mold. Maybe this will be the one that won't have a huge dip. Well, it did have a huge dip, a huge dip, and it, it's going to keep on dipping in my opinion. But they're addressing their their privacy concern, and obviously people have a right to have concern, but they also, the Affinity themselves, taking shots at, at, um, at Ethereum's um, complex layer 2 solution. With their, with their own privacy concerns. So it's a back and forth in terms of privacy concern. It's like it's like a monopoly kind of game. It's a back and forth. They both have privacy issues or um, a lot of people are concerned about, about the privacy of their cryptocurrency, but they're both like addressing it in a very like interesting ways. So it's a bit of back and forth from like company leaders and stuff like that. But we can ignore that for a minute and just focus on the price of internet computer, you know? Internet computer is the world first blockchain that runs at web speed with unbounded capacity. It also represents the third major blockchain innovation along Bitcoin and Ethereum, a blockchain computer that scales smart contracts computation and data, runs them at web speed, processes and stores data efficiently. It provides powerful software frameworks to developers as well by making it uh, by making this possible, the internet computer enables the complete reimagination of software, providing a revolutionary new way to build tokenized internet services, pan-industry platforms, decentralized financial system, and even traditional enterprise system and websites. So this project was founded on October 26 by Dominic William and attracted notable interest from crypto community. The Affinity raised a total of 121 million from the contribution of such as uh, Andresen Horovis and uh, Polychain Capital, SV Angel, Aspect Ventures. So a lot of companies got involved and invested in this. 
Electric Capital, Zero X, Scarlet Capital. A lot of people got involved in, in investing in this thing. So a lot of people actually got money in Internet Computer in Definity, the, the, the company behind Internet Computer themselves. So on December 18, 2020, Definity launched the alpha mainnet of Internet Computer. So we all know what a mainnet is. It's basically a platform where you can interact with Internet Computer without having a real world effect on the real Internet Computer. You know, it's like a it's like a playground platform, you know, somewhere where you can test out things without affecting the real world or real assets. If you guys have enjoyed this video, subscribe. It's been a it's been really fun making this video and I'll see you guys in the next.